Henry Yakarundi, the innovator behind the innovative the entrepreneur from Rwanda. Au plaisir d'accueillir aujourd'hui Henri Nyakarundi. Pour en parler, l'équipage reçoit son concepteur, Monsieur Henri Nyakarundi. So today I want to talk about something very unique. Um, after six years doing a red we actually developed an innovative business model that I believe can be suited for a lot of companies out there. Not all companies, some sectors like FinTech, man, that wouldn't work. But a lot of the businesses, the hardware and software could use this business model. I wanted to share because I truly believe it's the future. Now, before I get started, I want to uh, say something. When it comes to business model, there is no perfect business model. It does not exist. So every business model has benefit and has a downside. It's just a fact. You just have to adapt and pick from everything to find what works for you specifically for you. So um, this model that, uh, that we developed, we call it modular business model. For those who know a little bit about modular hardware, what I love about modular hardware is you no, you no longer have to develop the whole board from scratch and all. You can take components from different aspects to, to develop what you want. For example, our solar kiosk is a modular solar kiosk. When we replace a component, we don't have to replace a whole kiosk. We just replace the component that is failing, put the new one, and back. It's back in business. So we call this a modular business model. So let me start with the company. In this case, Ada, right? You know, uh, the business, the business. So the goal is for you to focus on what's very important for you, what you're really good at. Instead of trying to diversify and build a whole team for all different aspects of your business, what are you good at? What can you focus on? In our aspect is the, the business development aspect of, of a -Rail. meaning finding clients, finding partners, uh, whether it's locally, internationally, that want to license the business, um, uh, partnering with telecos, uh, finding ways to better monetize, any aspect of the business, that's what we focus on. And that's what the team is all about, right? So, we are hardware and software components. So who does our software, right? We work with a company. Software. Man, I, I, my, I was definitely not the best at English, I'll tell you that. My focus was math, numbers. So software. Um, we work with a partner. Hardware. We work with a partner, right? CFO. We have a, 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 a CFO that is not a full-time employee of Aero, right? And then uh, manufacturing. Manufacturing. We have a partner in the field. The logistics. product distribution because we operate now in three countries soon four. We need to distribute all those different products in different countries. We don't want to get into logistics. Why, why are we going to do that? You know, if we can find a module, a company that is specialized in that, guess what? Here's the benefit. You don't have to pay taxes on those employees, right? You don't have to worry about OPEX every month, whether business is high or up. If one of those guys, if 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 your if your money's low, guess what? You don't have to pay for any more software development. You don't have to pay for any hardware development. Taxes on, on income is eliminated because all you do is pay for a contractor, and you put KPIs together, and then that's it. And if one of them is not working, if if you're not happy with the CFO, guess what? If you cancel that person. 
and look for a new one. Right? That's the modular aspect. It allows you to scale the business much, much quicker. Limit the headaches that you have, especially because the number one reason why companies fail, they run out of cash. All right.